Hey, it's Zach. It's the Best Advice Show. Today, whatever. I'll do what I want. So tell me, what, uh, what's your advice? My advice is to act like you're on vacation all the time. I love the spirit of this, but what does that mean? So I'll tell you a little story. So I have two young kids and um, a husband and my husband and I both work and, you know, it's been COVID. So basically we found ourselves like really tired, hadn't gone on a vacation in like five or six years. Then it was COVID and, you know, everything was happening and we just really needed a break. We really needed to get away. So we planned a trip to Puerto Rico and we were in Puerto Rico for 10 days in early December. And before I went to Puerto Rico, you know, I said to myself, I said, self, you know, you have been on vacation before, but, you know, some of those other times, like you've stressed out a lot about like, are you maximizing every moment of this vacation? And like on this trip, why don't you try to just be on vacation, to live in the moment? And so I was like, okay, if I want to do that, like, how am I going to, how am I going to do that? What's going to be my strategy? So I came up with this idea that I would just, in every moment when I wasn't sure what I was supposed to be doing, I would ask myself, what do you want to do right now? And then Whatever my brain and my heart came up with, that's what I would do. And, you know, I did all the regular, like, unplugging things. You know, I took my work email and my work chat off my phone and, you know, like, I was at the beach and whatever. But, you know, asking myself that question, like, what do you want to do right now? Because even on vacation, like, you could eat. You could lay on the beach. You could go snorkeling, right? And like for someone who overanalyzes everything like me, that can be a lot of decisions to make. Mm -hmm. And it worked really well. I had such an amazing time on vacation. And when I came back, I started telling my coworkers that I wanted to stay in that vacation mindset. And they kept asking me what that meant. And I was like, Well, I I think what it means is like, I'm going to keep asking myself this question. What do you want to be doing right in this moment? And whatever the answer is, just go with it. Yeah. Don't feel pressure to be doing something you think you should be doing or worse, like be doing something that you think someone else thinks you should be doing. Just do what you want to do. But don't your kids constantly want to do shit that you don't want to do? And therefore you have to do it with them? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I think it's important to know that this is advice is not, first of all, not for people who actively shirk responsibility, which like, I think there are some people like that out there. Um, And that's totally okay if that's you, but probably this isn't the advice for you. This is for people who, have a lot of responsibilities and take them seriously and need a reminder to that not every moment of your day has to be about your responsibilities to other people. And then the other thing about this advice is that, you know, it doesn't work for every moment. It's really for those moments when you're like, what should I be doing right now? And I found, especially in COVID, that like, you know, when you're going, going, going all the time and like, you know, your kids are out of care and you're trying to work from home and take care of your kids at the same time and and keep the house clean and feed everybody, like any moment where there isn't a direct demand on your time, like I've found that it can be really hard to decide what to do and it can be really hard to unwind. And so like this advice is for those moments. Yes. Like those moments where like, okay, maybe there is some laundry to fold, but it's not like 10 loads and it has to get done. Like it's not so pressing that you actually can justify not doing a chore. Is that kind of what you mean? 
Yeah. I mean, like, I'll just put out there that I basically never fold laundry, but yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's advice for a separate day. Um, so give me an example of a recent moment of joy that you chose over obligation. Yeah. Well, like I'm the kind of person who I love being outside and especially if it's like really nice weather and I'll, I'll always be feeling like I have to maximize my time outside. But you know what? The other day, like, it was really nice weather. I had spent some time outside. And then I was like, had, you know, a moment in my day free. And there was this little voice in my head that was like, you have to go outside. You have to enjoy the weather. And it was like, you know what? Actually, I can do whatever I want. And right now, what I want to do is sit on the couch inside and read a book. And that's acting like you're on vacation all the time. Because when you're on vacation, you can do whatever you want. So I'm Rachel Jacobson. I am a parent and a spouse. I'm a sibling and a daughter. And I try to help people deal with climate impacts across North America. Thank you for this much needed reminder, Rachel Jacobson. Rachel's advice reminds me of a past episode we did with Amanda Alexander. That one's called Practicing Freedom. Most weeks, I'll take a tech Sabbath. So I just you know put my phone and my laptop away, and I sit down in the morning at my dining room table, and I write out a list. And at the top of the page, I just write, today I want, and then I listen. <laughs> and so first, it usually takes a couple tries to get through all the things that appear first, and those are all the shoulds. Um, you know, so I, I want to make it clear, this is not a to-do list. This isn't a list of things that I should do, but it's a list of things that if I really listen deeply to my gut and to my intuition, it's what I want. I put a link to that full episode in our show notes. If you have some advice for me, what are you waiting for? I would love to hear from you. Give me a call at 844-935-BEST. And as always, I really appreciate it when you leave me ratings and reviews at Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Toodaloo.